One, two, three, test. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Nunu, I'm Head of Operations at BGI. Well, when you are managing a product, a project and a service, you are actually focusing on different aspects of the whole continuum. So, A, when you are managing a product, it's all about uh, the requirements that your users have that need to be incorporated. And B, when you are in implementing your product in the client, probably you are doing that uh, within the project. So the focus is uh, scope and budget and the timeline. Um, when you are managing a service, it has to do with uh, different KPIs. So you are measuring uh, the usage of your service and uh, if there is downtime, and the volume of uh, uh, activities that you are doing. So this requires different competencies, which is hard uh, to manage when you are in a small organization, um, which means that if you are the, the same person doing the product, the project, and then the service management, you need to separate clearly uh, what uh, you are doing at uh, each time. So having different processes, different repositories, and of course, understanding that you are working to achieve different KPIs. Well, focusing on project management, uh, you are delivering a specific set of uh, products within a, a period and the budget, and you are doing that within the scope. But actually, uh, good project managers go beyond scope and calendar and they really understand the impact that each one needs to achieve. So understanding all the stakeholders, managing risks and looking at the impacts you need to, uh, to achieve uh, leads you to managing the project differently. It's not that you are going to uh, go over budget, you don't need to. Uh, it's just about managing risk and stakeholder expectations. And of course, if this is managed uh, adequately, you will have the impacts that all people expect you to, to achieve. As I mentioned, uh, success can be measured in two ways. You can uh, look at uh, time and cost and see if you overrun it in some way and a successful uh, project can be a project that was delivered within time and budget but if what if users don't use the product what if uh, the expectations were not met then the project to the eyes of the customer is not successful uh, so if you combine this quantitative approach to cost and time with uh, uh, managing expectations and impacts that you need to achieve, then you become, of course, more successful in the eyes of, of your customer. When you have uh, multiple operations going on, uh, this means that you are um, serving different customers and uh, probably you are also doing new implementations and you are also working on product development. Uh, what is key is that you clearly separate uh, when you are doing service management, project management and product management. Um, when you reach a size where you have specialized people working in each of the three areas, it will probably become easier uh, because each person will have a different focus. But when you are a small company, you need to change hats and uh, be sure of what you are doing and especially avoiding that uh, requests coming from service management uh, affect 
product development directly without reasoning behind changing the product to provide something new to the customer. So um, products are designed to uh, serve a purpose and to provide certain features. A project is uh, something that is unique. Each project is different. Service is an ongoing activity of uh, users that need to have some kind of support. So these three areas are interconnected, but in your head they should be managed separately.